discuss the appointment of the Garda Commissioner. Deputy, four minutes for initial statement. Yeah, Gor Mahagut. Um, Minister, I first of all want to welcome the uh, sole survivor of the Miami massacre into the gallery, uh, plus the brother of the Reavy brothers, three young men who were shot dead in a sectarian attack. Now, the reason they're here is because they head up a group uh, known as the Truth and Reconciliation Platform, and to my knowledge, the only um, real condemnation of the appointment of Drew Harris as Garda, Commi Garda Commissioner for all the right reasons uh, is Stephen Tracy who survived the Miami massacre and he, we all heard him on Morning Ireland and heard the reasons why. Now I have to say I am shocked by the silence in this house about this because in all my lifetime having lived through the troubles and as a young woman who came from a Republican family uh, I had witnessed the distraught uh, evidence from families who were victims of sectarian attacks from both sides, I'll have, I might add, and this group represents the families and victims and survivors of both sides, and I think for that they should be commended. But the appointment of Drew Harris is like sticking a knife in their back. Drew Harris has a record of blocking the truth for the truth and reconciliation that's needed to put closure uh, on a lot of issues in the North. So, for example, um, I just want to talk about what was said about Drew Harris by a Belfast justice, Mr Tracy, Justice Tracy, in 2010, when he accused him of an extreme abuse of power in closing down the historical inquiries team, removing their budget, taking all the powers away from them, and doing so, he made it clear that the state is not genuinely committed to addressing the concerns of the families, the survivors, and all of the victims. Now, when you have a conversation uh, with, with, with the survivors and the families and the victims, you realise that for very, very many years, they have been blocked in finding out the truth. And I, th I want you to think about that, Minister. How would you feel if your son or brother or somebody was killed and you wanted to know who, why, how and what killed them when you know that it is, it is common knowledge and uh, Belfast Court have now ordered it to investigate the collusion of the state the British state, the Northern Ireland state, in these killings, just as we've been trying to do with the collusion of the state in the Dublin Monaghan bombings. And we know, and the Miami uh, show band um, uh, relatives and survivors are taking a case to court, we do know that there's major question marks over the involvement of Drew Harris in blocking the information uh, to these families. And so I just want to ask you a simple question and see how you might respond to this. Could you envisage a situation in the future where the guard, the commissioner, i.e. Drew Harris, could be arrested and taken north to give evidence at a trial that the survivors and families of the Miami show band have managed to secure, to give evidence on why he has blocked at least two files that pertain to what was known as the Glenan Gang, those who colluded with British MI5 forces and others to carry out more than 89 sectarian murders. Could you envisit that situation? And how would you, as Minister for Justice, feel, and as a member of this cabinet and this government feel, if the Garda Commissioner that you so proudly appointed to do such a great job was arrested for the very reason that he blocked justice being denied to families and, and, and relatives and survivors of these horrendous sectarian murders. That is a possibility in the future, and I would like you to address that possibility, Minister, because that's what's at stake with this appointment. Never mind the hurt and the stab in the back to the families, the victims of collusion, the victims who need closure. Never mind that, park that to one side. How does this compromise the state, your office thank and you the Deputy. role of the Garda Commissioner potentially thank, thank, in the future? Thank you, Deputy Minister, you have four minutes. Working with Mr Drew Harris as he takes up his exciting, not to say challenging role. And we wish him every success. Thank you, Minister. Deputy, you have two minutes for supplementary statement. Margot, um, as usual, I didn't get the answer to the question, and I've got used to not really expecting an answer to uh, 
usually difficult questions, but I think you might have given this some consideration already, and if you didn't, then you should have, because you started by saying a very rigorous process in selection reached the decision to appoint Drew Harris. Well, then you must have thought about the possibility that in the future, he who has blocked information from going to the families and survivors uh, may possibly be arrested and brought before courts in the north of Ireland and demanded to give evidence there. If you haven't considered that, then your process was not rigorous. Secondly, I'd like to point out to you that recently, uh, Drew Harris was ordered, having for six years um, blocked the issuing of files uh, to families. He was ordered to hand them over within 12 weeks. That was last August. Last week, the families received 72 of those files. Sorry, um, they received uh, some of those files. I'm exactly figure I haven't got here. But two of them were held back, and two of them relate directly to the Glen Ann gang and wh wh he who was known as the Jackal. And he has blocked them and refused to hand them over. That could be subject uh, to, to a court case. Now, is that a right thing to do for a court to order a head of the PS? SNI, former RUC, hand over the files within 12 weeks and almost a year later he has only just, uh, he has only just about handed them over. Picture this, um, um, if you will, Minister. These families who waited six years for files, who've waited all their lives for justice, 43 years, at the end of July, uh, the Miami massacre will be 43 years historically old. These families who have been denied access to files from this state will be overseeing a situation where the head of the PSNI, then Garda Commissioner, has access to files about their loved ones that they can't get access to. Is that fair? Is that just? And is that the sort of justice that you want to present? Finally, I want to put it to you. On the 31st of July, we will be commemorating, uh, sadly commemorating, the, the slaughter of the Miami show band. I'm asking you, and the uh, Garda Commissioner, on behalf of the survivors, to join us at that commemoration, to meet the families, and to have this discussion with them. Thank you, Deputy. It'll be taking place in Dublin. Thank you, Deputy. I'm also time. asking you Deputy, to sorry, delay Deputy, the appointment of Drew Harris until such time as he meets the Deputy, families and answers time, their Deputy. concerns. Thank you, Deputy. Minister, you have two minutes to reply. Uh, I, I won't be.